go, 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 go. What is up, YouTube? My name is Aztec, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Mocritus mod onto your Mac. This is the latest version, which is 2.7, which is the predecessor to the 2.62 update. And basically, all the 2.7 brings is rely, you know, more reliability, bug fixes, and the ability to choose which mobs you want to spawn in game without going through all the property files. So let's begin. To start off, you're going to need to download these four files: the mod builder, the GUI, the audio mod, and the actual Mo Creatures mod itself. So in order to bring up your Minecraft um, folders, go to Finder, Library, Application Support, Minecraft. Here are all the files. You know, there's no mods installed here. I just delete them all. So yeah, first off, you're going to want to go to the Minecraft jar, right-click on it, open with Archive Utility. It will create a folder like this with everything that was in there, but you're just allowed to edit it. So you delete that, you don't need that. Drag that in its place. Click on the name itself to rename it. And then put dot jar and add. So basically this will act as that um, coffee cup, you know, that jar application. Open it, scroll down, you know, these are all the standard files you find. So let's begin. Open up more creatures. Then do Z4 files, you open up mod loader, highlight all of them, all of the names. <laughs> um, then you copy them. Then you come to this wheel here, which is like a cog. You can do paste items, apply to all, replace. Then you go to audio mod, copy the SD class, copy it, then paste it, replace, copy the IBXM. Copy the IBX name. Then you paste the item in Minecraft jar, like so. Then you go to Pulse Code, open the folder, Sound, Codex, and you're left with the Codex IBXM. Scroll all the way down to the bottom till you hit the P's. And then there's Pulse Code, open it, Sound, Codex. Then you would copy the IBXM code, paste it inside there. Go back into the Minecraft jar itself. Okay, so that's the mod loader and the audio mod installed. Now we move on to the GUI. And basically, the GUI it's really easy. Just highlight everything, folders, and you know all the pictures. Copy them and paste all of them directly into the jar. Do a placement. Okay, now you've got all the basic things installed. And now to install the mod itself, open it up and you go into Minecraft. And then you'll see a folder called mob. You take that down and put it on your desktop because you don't need to drag it in at the moment. Then you highlight all of the animal classes. Copy them again. Paste them into the Minecraft jar. Replace it. Now you go into the Minecraft jar again and you scroll down until you find M. Mob. You draw all the pictures like the pigs, the cows, and the chickens. Then you go into the mob here with all the lions and the ogres. Highlight all these, copy them, and paste them into the mob folder. Now you go back, and one thing you need to do, you need to do this, or you just get a black screen instantly, is delete the net inf. I don't know why, but you just do. Now you go back, and you go to Minecraft, you open up resources, you go back to the Doctor's Ark folder, you go to resources, mod, copy the mod folder, and paste it into the resources here, like so. When you go back, you'll see a patch.properties file. You copy it, then you paste it into the micro folder, like in the library, there, and paste it. So then it should look pretty much like this, you know, with all the altered files and whatnot. And you close down all these windows, open up Minecraft, log in, On single player, load a new world, wait for it to build, you know, I deleted all my old saves, you know, just for record, you know, just for shape people like this. Wait for it to load, and here we are. As you can see, the mob is, the mod is loaded, because you wouldn't have sharks if the mod hadn't loaded, and my computer is pretty crap, so I doubt I'm about to play and record, but I'll try and show you. Uh, like what is that? Let's say um, 
just a human, I believe, the were person, I'm not sure what they're called. Mm. No, ogre, actually, ogres, yeah, ogres. Sorry about that. <laughs> and yeah, it's just a nice mod. Um, so if you have any queries at all, just hit me up with a personal message on YouTube. I'll try and answer. Um, there might be some problems that you get that I don't get that I don't know how to fix, but nevertheless, enjoy. Hello again. Now I'm going to show you the biggest new feature in this mod, which allows you to either choose how many of a certain mob you want to spawn, or just get rid of them altogether. So to start off, you press Escape, then you go to Options, Mod Settings, Dr. Zog Smoke Creatures, and here you can choose a wide variety of different settings. You know, for example, if you don't like lions, you can get rid of lions, or if you want lions but you don't want them to attack your horse, you press No, like that. They'll say No. Or you can not spawn bears if you want to, but I like bears, so I'm going to keep them. You can set it so that the hunters destroy where they drop. And, you know, you can even go as far as, you know, changing what's the percentage of a Pegasus spawning, which can go up to 10, because if it was 100, you know, you just have loads of Pegasus, which is, you know, cheating the game. You can choose water mobs, like if you don't want sharks, you can, you know, change it. Although, if you want these things to take place, you need to, you know, press it, and then you need to restart Minecraft, because it won't activate in-game until you actually put out of the game itself, and then change it that way. So, yeah, thanks.